Okay, uh, Alabama week. Obviously, big, big challenge for us, uh, you know, going into this week. Uh, you know, arguably, or not arguably, probably the best team in the country year in and year out. Uh, you know, you just got to respect what Coach Saban has done there at that program year after year. Uh, when you look at them defensively, you know, to be honest, it looks like an NFL uh, front four, their defensive line. Uh, they got unreal playmakers in the secondary. Minka Fitzpatrick is you know, one of the best players I've, I've seen on tape. Uh, started out at corner, they moved to safety, plays the nickel, does an outstanding job. Ronnie Harrison, number 15, is an outstanding player. <clears throat> big, big challenge uh, for us offensively this week, you know, to be able to move the ball uh, and get some first downs. Offensively uh, for Alabama, just to impress year in and year out how they continue to move the football, how they continue to do it with different coordinators, different quarterbacks. Uh, they find a way to be successful. You know, great, great, great program. Always has been a great program. Uh, and everybody you know, says that they get you know, the best players in the country. And they do get a lot of the best players in the country. But when you watch this team on tape, offensively, defensively, and special teams, uh, it's probably the best coach football team uh, that I've seen in a long time. So it's going to be a big challenge for us. One we're excited about uh, and looking forward to. We got a lot of work to do, but it's going to be a huge challenge. Mike, just real quickly, with the storm sitting where they are, you have like 27 players from down south, a lot of them in Georgia, a lot of them in Florida. How is everybody's family doing and your family's on the coaching staff? Yeah, uh, that was something that we discussed last week uh, and then throughout the Throughout Hurricane Irma, uh, have been talking to our players about their families, and everybody is, uh, you know, all their families are safe. Uh, a lot of them evacuated. Some of them stayed uh, to ride it out. But it's something that, you know, those guys have been in our thoughts. And every time we've had a chance uh, for Johnny Square to lead our team in prayer, uh, we've said a lot of prayers for uh, the guys on our team and their families. Mike. Mike, when you look at uh, this Alabama team, all the things you just said about them, how do you keep your team from being intimidated? Keep them focused and, as you say, avoid the noise. There's a lot of noise when you're playing Alabama. Yeah, you're playing the number one team in the country. Uh, we're going to be on you know, ESPN2. It's something that you know our guys have been excited about since it's been on the schedule, uh, an opportunity to play a team with the caliber of Alabama at their place. Uh, we got a lot of players from the South that Mike just mentioned that are excited about going closer to home. Uh, so we'll have you know, a lot of our players will have a lot of their families and friends there. Uh, we'll talk about that today of you know handling that stuff and getting that organized with tickets. You know, but we got we got to focus on us. You know, we got to make sure you know that we know our assignments because if you got any hesitation or don't know what you you're doing. Uh, as a football player in any phase of the game, uh, then that's when they're going to really, really expose you. You know, we've got to concentrate on Colorado State. We got to improve what we're doing fundamentally and schematically, uh, and then go out there and play and just you know cut it loose. From your time, uh, you know, obviously coaching there. Is there things you can share about um, you know, I guess the experience with your players and. You know, the awe factor, that type of thing. Yeah, they're going to, while you're warming up, they're going to play Sweet Home Alabama, and everybody's going to sing it. Uh, you know, so I, I mean, it, our guys have been in some, you know, some big stadiums, and there's a lot of guys on our team that have been uh, to Bryant-Denny Stadium. And not just myself, but we're going to have guys on our team that have been there, and if they has, have experience playing in that stadium, that will be able to share some of the stuff uh, that, you know, is going to go on during the game. Uh, you know, still going to be 22 out there on the field at one time. There's just going to be 100,000 100, plus in the stands. Uh, not going to get too caught up in, in everything uh, that goes on uh, there or in, a, in an SEC environment. At the end of the day, we're going to focus on what we feel like we can do best and how we can be successful in those areas.